Welcome to Watermelon. Sometimes celebrities can afford to be too much during interviews. Sometimes such interviews can end very badly for the stars, even costing them their careers. Here are 20 times when celebrity interviews went wrong. And we start with an interview that turned into the biggest meme in the world of rap. Can you understand what Takeoff said? With, with you being left off bad and bougie. I, I ain't left off bad and bougie. You think I'm left off bad and bougie? So was the interviewer. <laughs> the guy needed five attempts to finally realize what he tried to say. Or he got tired of asking and just pretended to understand. Say again? You say I'm left off bad and bougie? What'd you say? You say I'm left off bad and bougie? Yeah. Do it look like I'm left off bad and bougie? What'd you say? Do it look like I'm left off bad and bougie? Nah! Takeoff took it surprisingly calmly, but another thing almost led to a fight. Joe Budden demonstratively drops the mic and walks out of the interview. Migos one by one slowly stands up preparing to fight. Succeed. Hey man, you guys are nominated tonight. Have a good show. And Offset rolls up his sleeves like he's about to eat the finest lobster. Luckily, the conflict was reserved peacefully. When Joe Budden was asked why he dropped the mic, he revealed he simply didn't respect Migos. So I got up and walked away from that damn interview. No. Vin Diesel came to Brazil for the third time to promote Fast and Furious. However, the interview soon turned into cringeworthy attempts to hit on the interviewer. I'm anything like you because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm anything like it. Really, look how beautiful she is. Thank you guys think it's a joke. How am I supposed to sit over here when I'm just looking at such beauty? So beautiful. I'm in love. I'm in love with the interview. <laughs> Eu sou o Groot. I love, Eu? I love her. Man, she's so fucking sexy. It's not, I can't do this interview. Guys, I, what's wrong? Am I the only one that's saying it? Look at her. <laughs> da, 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 da. Right or wrong? When did this turn into the most gorgeous girl in Brazil? When did this turn into I love you? Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Lil Wayne made his position on Black Lives Matter very clear, but the journalist kept pressing the issue. That's when Lil Wayne stood up and left. What's your thought on, on Black Lives Matter? What is it? What, what do you mean? It just sounds weird. I don't know that you put a name on. It's not a name. It's not whatever, whatever. If that don't let you know that America understands Black Matter these days, I don't know what it is. Don't come at me with that dumb Ma'am. Do you separate yourself from it? I don't feel connected to a damn thing that ain't got nothing to do with me. If you do, you crazy. You. I'm connected to this flag right As I'm connected, I'm a gangbanger, man. I'm connected. And here's how you should never start an interview. This girl confused John Cusack with Kevin Spacey, or simply showed she doesn't know anything about his movies. So funny because they're watching American Beauty today and analyzing it. American Beauty? Mm -hmm. What's funny about that? American Beauty? Nope. What's the one with the rose petals? I'm not in that. That's not you? No. Really? No. Really? I swear to God. Sandra Bullock appeared on the Today Show to promote her film, The Proposal. However, this guy was more interested in the star's nude scene. In two years since you've been here. Has it? It has been. March, I think, 15th, the eyes of March. Are you counting? I am. It's been hard. Sad. It's been Sad. hard. The major thing that's Sad. changed since you were here last? Yes. I have now seen you naked. <laughs> Eventually, it came to this awkward dialogue. Look at yours, you don't look at mine. Well, it's, I watched it last night. It is a lot of fun. Did Thank I mention you. you have a nude scene in this movie? Pretty much from the time you opened from your mouth. Time? Yeah. Sandra yeah. Bullock. Come back more often. No, not after this interview. <laughs> This guy decided to share what he thought was a hilarious joke with the Dalai Lama. However, the reaction was not what he expected. I decided that I would tell this gag. Now, it did prove to be not my most successful ever. So the Dalai Lama walks into a pizza shop. Close a shop, Pizza shop. Pizza? Pizza, no. pizza shop, yes. Yeah, pizza, pizza shop. And you make me one with everything. Hmm. <laughs> Can you make me one oh. with everything? Oh, <laughs> oh. oh, I knew that wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Mon and Dakota Johnson noted that this handsome man had cute socks. 
How cute your socks are. Thank you. Now, no one sees them on TV, but I know that they're there. So. We know they're there. Yeah, thank are you, you single? I am single. You're handsome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> After that, the interview went off the rails. Seems like an innocent flirt, right? Olivia, you guys, look, hot guy. Hot guy. This is amazing. <laughs> wow. Imagine if two men would do that to a female journalist. This interview was meant to be about Maluma's performance in Qatar. Maluma, don't you have problem with, with human rights violation on this country? I just came here to enjoy life, enjoy soccer. Actually, something that I have to be involved with. I'm here enjoying my music and uh, beautiful life playing soccer too. But it got too political. Maluma just couldn't take it anymore. I'm just asking that people are gonna, people are gonna ask. You don't do that. What the problem? I mean, You're rude. I'm rude? Yeah. Why I'm rude, Maluma? This guy couldn't believe Scarlett Johansson wasn't wearing a bra, so he decided to check for himself. Ooh. Oh, that's oh, totally so working. Good. Wow, I love that. Wow. I <laughs> touched Scarlett's boobs. I touched. Later, he claimed that he saw nothing wrong with his actions. In fittings, I do that all the time, yeah. and it's just a natural response. It's like a doctor going, "Okay, cough." Right. You know. This girl was so nervous during her interview with Ben Kingsley that he thought that she was on drugs, which made her even more nervous. I had an almond croissant, and I then had ginger pastry, and then I just had a chocolate muffin. Oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. I thought there might be drugs in the muffins. <laughs> I think there were, don't you? I'm not going to say anything in this interview. We're just going to enjoy you laughing and talking about croissants, okay? Is your dad here? He's not here. What a shame, he's missing a treat. Does he know your, his daughter's on drugs? Muffins, I mean. <laughs> I think he had a sneaky suspicion. Mm, mm. Mark Wahlberg got drunk and behaved so strangely the show's producers had to issue an explanation for his actions. Just like something in his head just clicked. And he just became one of those people when, you know sometimes when you're at a party and you're having a good time, then you go to the bathroom and you look in the mirror and suddenly you're having a conversation with yourself in the mirror. <laughs> but enough explanations. Go and see it for yourself. The, interrupt this thing. No. My dad had a... You're had her... <laughs> What? Can you imagine? You sit there. <laughs> this is a nice lady. <laughs> Furthermore, he constantly interrupted other guests, not allowing them to finish their stories. He goes, who did this? <laughs> and I'm just like paralyzed Coming with fear. <laughs> but it's not. No, no, actually... That's a happy tale. Look, you ruined the peeing story, now you're gonna ruin the golf course. <laughs> this Tamsin Craig's pig impression was something else. What do when you're laughing? <laughs> right, it's just... Wee! Wee! Jim Carrey, in response, demonstrated a St. Bernard. However, it wasn't for Tamsin, as Jim accidentally spat water on her. <laughs> Don't worry about that Ebola thing. This guy made the interview awkward for everyone with his bizarre question. Your feet don't smell, do they? I mean, you're, you, you dance a lot. It's a question. They don't? No. Are you wearing socks with those boots? No, but I have tights on when I perform. Oh, them. so you're good. You're good. All right. Often, celebrities walk out of interviews unhappy with the journalist. However, in this case, Machine Gun Kelly seemed to be mad at himself, realizing he was talking complete nonsense. <laughs> Man, I don't want to talk about this. I, I, you, I, I, dude, I've done this so many times, dude. Can we just, I don't want to do an interview, man. Can, hey. can we just, do, like, I don't, MGK. man, y'all don't listen, like, I, listen to my fucking songs. MGK, oh, I love you. listen, no, I, love you. I love you. Machine Gun Kelly came to F1 to relax and enjoy the race. But even there, the ever-present journalists caught up with him. The result was an interview he clearly did not want and was totally unprepared for. What, what, what are you saying? Tell us about your career at the moment. What, what's going on for you? Um, oh, my career. I don't think about my career. Uh, I don't think about it. Let's do an air piano and air guitar collaboration right now. Three, two, uh, one. There's millions. You do it. I need the piano. I probably need to get on, but uh, because we got some, we got some people to see. But they don't deserve my, they deserve my air guitar. 
Bill Murray's interview on MSNBC turned into real chaos. Initially, he showed up for a different broadcast ahead of his scheduled time. Mind if we finish talking about Elizabeth Warren and we go Hillary back. Clinton? Elizabeth Warren? Yeah. Get to that now. Then, while waiting for his turn, he fell off his chair. And during the interview itself, Bill mumbled something incoherent. I, I think you're doing it's great. Do you remember? You're doing great, and when he said, Could, would you come, it, was, uh, it wasn't a question. Apparently, those vodka shots on Letterman's show before the interview were a bit too much. An important rule for interviewers is not to judge their guest. This happened with Billie Eilish, and she was visibly uncomfortable. These guys just couldn't accept that someone can be homeschooled. You have? Are you done with school already, or are you still homeschooling? Well, or are you faking homeschooling? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never been to school, so there's a little fact. Okay. Never, never was at school, so I never had to quit school. Um, but I graduated. That's all right. <laughs> but, so you did homeschool, though. Obviously, you had to know. You had to at least take a test at some point in your life to get a graduation certificate, right? I mean, your parents are janky if that didn't happen. <laughs> You're better off. You don't like waking up at 4.15 every morning? No, I'm good. I'm all really, right. I'm good here. But see, no, yeah, see if you I, can pick up that Dodge Challenger after all. <laughs> I mean, exactly. Facts. But I never, right. you know what? Whatever. She went, to, she went to Seton Hall. She graduated Seton Hall. Congratulations, Billie Eilish. <laughs> see, no one's going to ask. Gene Simmons, the founder of the band KISS, is known for his infidelities to his wife. That's why this joint interview was already full of passive aggression. And then the interviewer mentioned that Gene had sex with 5,000 women. It's very nice of you to joke about It's a joke. Where are you going? What are so you doing? Far. She's so done rude. with you. It's so rude of you to joke about it. And this interview ended with security having to drag Andy Dick off the set. Out of the blue, the actor began groping Ivanka Trump's leg. Jimmy Kimmel tried to calm him down, but soon Andy started harassing her again, asking for a quote, sloppy wet kiss. Thanks for staying with us all the way to the end. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. See you in the next one.